Hello everybody and welcome to my 58 BBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use checkboxes. So a checkbox is just the tick box that you can put on your worksheet and then users can tick it. Uh, very simple, you've probably seen it on websites uh, or in other people's uh, work or generally any program. So I've just created one there so in order to do it just click on insert and then click on the checkbox and then just click and drag however big you want it to be. Uh, if you want to change the text that shows up next to it, then just go into your properties and change the caption text. So the, let's say we want to change this to apples uh, and then just let's put in a title for this. So my favorite fruit uh, is, make sure you don't spell anything correctly at all. Um, and uh, then when you come out of design mode, users is going to be able to tick and untick this here. Now you can use this just as you can save it down and it will save it down with tick or unticked. So it's quite useful just for giving to people to fill in. Um, but you can also reference this in your code. So let's say we create a list box and go to properties and let's just change the caption and let's change the back color as well and uh, make it look a little bit nicer nice a little green um so when we go into our editor on here if we want to reference this apple's uh checkbox uh, then we just reference its name up here so let's call this apples underscore check uh, and then let's go into our editor and then we reference first of all the workbook and then the sheet so in this case sheet one and then we put in the name of our checkbox and we put in dot value uh, and that's going to evaluate to either true or false so if we want to reference it and then do something with it, generally put an if statement on it. So if, and then let's just give ourselves some more space here, then and if. So we can put in an if statement that pulls this through as it's checked. So if it is ticked, then we can run our code. So we can put in, say, just message box, you like apples. Just tidy it up a little bit. Uh, and so now when we come out of design mode, and we press submit, nothing's gonna happen. But if we've got apples ticked, then it's gonna come up with a message box saying you like apples. Uh, and you can have as many of them as you want. Uh, and uh, you, the, you can just tick them kind of in any different format you want. Um, so that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, a similar type of button called a radio button uh, or a command button. Uh, not command button, radio button or um, what do they call them on here? An option button. That's the one. Um, so uh, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.